When most people think of ghosts, they think of spooky spirits in white sheets. The fact of the matter is, ghosts come in all shapes and sizes. I'm definitely gonna have nightmares tonight. Yeah, nightmares about lame movies. Annie, can we please switch it over to the baseball game? Who could that be at this hour? Margaret! Oh, hello, Molly. Oh, you look lovely as ever. Oh, where's Fee? Margaret, wait a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. How long has it been? Four years. So where's Fee? Uh, Fee is, is living with her Aunt Melinda in Seattle for the school year. When did you give it? Oh, little sticks. I was so hoping Fee could help me out with this. Oh, oh yeah. Another thing about ghosts? Maybe they don't just exist in bad movies. Margaret? Margaret, is something wrong? I suppose you could say that. There's a ghost trying to kill me. Margaret, I don't understand. What makes you think that someone's trying to kill you? Messages everywhere saying you're dead. What would you make of that? <sighs> Messages? It's not someone, it's something. A ghost. That's why I wanted to talk to Fee. She understands about these things. She wouldn't think I was crazy. <clears throat> uh, hi, Mrs. Joyner. You probably don't even recognize Jack. He's grown quite a bit since the last time you saw him. Jack? Why, you've grown quite a bit since the last time I saw you. <laughs> and this is Carrie Bell and Annie Phelan. And no Fee. Darn. Oh, darn, darn. I was hoping she was going to advise me on this ghost. Now this is awkward. Now this is awkward? Molly, I have never been one to invite myself over, but I need to invite myself over. You mean stay here? I mean hide here. <sighs> She's known my family for ages. And, and for the last 15 years, she's been living in Sarasota, Florida. Was she always this loony? <laughs> you mean eccentric? Right. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know what happened. We haven't talked for months. I guess I got busy with the tour. She has a very active life in Florida. Even when I was little, I thought she was kind of out there. So what's this talk about ghosts? Oh, that's just Margaret. She's always been a little quirky. I like her. She's got style. I'll get it. Hello? Oh, hi. Yeah, hang on. Chelsea, it's for you. Oh. Hello? Oh, hi. No, no. Um, how long is Mrs. Joyner going to be staying here? I don't know, Jack, but she's practically family. Tell us, Jack. What do you think about the ghost trying to kill Mrs. Joyner? Well, Carrie, why don't you ask Annie? She believes in ghosts. <laughs> She's a smart girl. Fee's a smart girl, too. You have smart girls in this house, Molly. Margaret. Oh, I know this is an imposition, but I didn't know where else to go. I, uh, my husband's gone and... No, you will always have a place to stay with this family. Even with... my problems. You can be rest assured there are no ghosts here. You're 
perfectly safe. Now, come on. Let me show you where you're going to sleep. We can still catch the game on TV? Yep. This ghost has more than one of us on edge, huh? I just made myself a spot of tea. Can I get you some? No, it's no thanks, but I should be getting back to bed. Yes, me too. Good night. something to cooking? Well, hey, man, what a surprise Carrie dropping by. Just in time for a free meal, as usual. Jack, how could you possibly think that I could somehow calculate to arrive at 8.35 on a Saturday morning when your mom's always cooking Spanish omelets with extra salsa? How could you? Can you ever forgive me? <laughs> Don't forgive him, Carrie. You're welcome here for a free meal anytime you like. Thank you. Just to show you there's no hard feelings, Jack, I'm going to start with a bowl of cereal.
hard to get up in the night. Are you having trouble sleeping? I saw the ghost. Come again? I saw the ghost. It went into Margaret's room last night. Wouldn't be breakfast at the Phillips house without a little ghost talk over the toast and eggs. Honey, I want you to listen to what you're saying. This ghost is all in Margaret's head. Yeah, well, now it's in my head, too. I'm telling you, there were noises last night, and the window was open, and the chimes downstairs got knocked over. That's when I saw the ghost walk through. Good morning. Good morning, Margaret. You were just... How did you get... Margaret, can I fix you some breakfast? No, dear, that's very kind, but I have no appetite anymore. Yeah, come on, you've got to eat something. Well, all right. Maybe I'll have a little cereal. There you go. You know, I was thinking last night that uh, we should look through some of the old family photo albums. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Wait till I get back, though. Where are you going? All of you have been so kind to take me in. I thought I'd make a big pot of my famous chili. Sounds like a plan. No argument here. I love your chili. Excellent. So, who'll come to the store with me? I will. Perfect. You see, it's the ghost. He's still after me. Your proof is right here in the bowl. Here's one of me and Margaret. I baked her and Walter a 45th anniversary cake. Oh. It, it's so strange that she knew you when you were a little girl. Why is that strange? Well, I don't know. I mean, to me, you've always been mom. Mm -hmm. Or a grown-up, I mean. <laughs> She's known a whole different side of you. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. She taught me how to ride a bike. <laughs> I've always had a soft spot in my heart for her. What's that? It's a brochure. That wasn't there before. A brochure of what? A cemetery. Shh. What? Listen. Margaret? Is that you? No, she's at the store, Mom. <sighs> Hello? Is anybody up there? Answer me! What's up? Ah! We thought we heard footsteps. You did? You want me to take off my shoes next time? No, she means upstairs, doofus. Oh. It's probably just the wind. It's really picking up out there. Doofus. Well, it didn't sound like the wind to me. Did you? No, not me. Who put the kettle on? Not me. We're being silly. We're just... Letting our imaginations run away with us, right? You're back. Wrong. escape it. This ghost is going to follow me wherever I go. While you were out, I found those photo albums we were talking about. Come on, let's go have a look. My Walter. I loved him dearly. Oh, well, we all loved him, Margaret. A woman couldn't ask for a finer husband than Walter. You know, before he died... I promised him we'd be buried alongside each other one day. That way we could spend eternity together. <laughs> that is so sweet. <sighs> that shopping trip tired me out. I think I'll take a little nap. Well, you know, if you're tired, we can always do the chili tomorrow. Maybe that might be best. Mm. All right. You take a little rest. We'll okay. see you later.
You're going to help me with the chili tomorrow, right? Absolutely. Good. Are you okay? something to cook him? You uh, cut it a little close today, Carrie. Oh, he's a hungry, growing boy. He should eat to his heart's content. See? She accepts me for who I am. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, the problem's not his heart, it's his stomach. Oh, good. You've got garlic. That should take care of the ghost if he comes back. I think garlic's for vampires. Oh. Right. <laughs> you give me a taste test here, dear? I just don't have my taste buds anymore. I think it needs a little more cayenne. Okay. Mmm. <sighs> oh, <laughs> clumsy me. <laughs> What is it? You won't give up. Oh, oh. oh Margaret. Oh, oh, no, dear. I, I want to be alone right now. Please. Sweetheart, I'm going to be leaving now. This ghost is going to follow me wherever I go. There's no point in putting all you nice people through this. Margaret, I don't know how to tell you this, but tell me what, sweetheart. The ghost that's following you is... It's Walter, your husband. What did you say? It's true. But that's impossible. No, Margaret. It's true. Walter? You're dead. Why are you doing this? You're dead. Why are you trying to scare her? Scare her? I don't want to scare her. I'm trying to tell her she's dead. What? You died five days ago of a heart attack. A heart attack? While you were walking. In the park. The park? Yes, the park. That's right. Heart attack. Boy, did that hurt. But I don't understand. Annie and Molly and everybody, they've been talking to me. I've been talking to them. They've all been talking to your spirit. A spirit that has refused to go to the afterlife. They have? Why do you think I've been writing you're dead everywhere? Can't you take a hint? I'm confused. If I'm dead, why didn't I go on to the afterlife? Like you. Because of a mistake. What sort of mistake? You were buried in Twelve Oaks Cemetery. Twelve Oaks? We were buried in different cemeteries by mistake. And you couldn't move on until we were together. Oh, 
Walter. I love you with all my heart. I never broke a promise to you when you were alive. I guess I didn't want to start now. But I'm dead. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going upstairs to check on Margaret. I, I'm sure she's fine. Honey, she shouldn't be alone in her room up there crying. Well, she's not alone. What? Well, you... What I mean to say is she, Molly, she's not... the chili's boiling over. Oh, no. Carrie! Okay, I'll be up in a minute. It's dropping everywhere. It's almost glorious. Oh, uh, excuse me? <laughs> it's all right. Time for us to go. But, but what, sweetie? What about Molly? She should know because... No, Annie. Now is not the time. I left a note for Molly. It simply says, thank you, and that I'm going home. So I guess the house is going to get back to normal now. I guess so. You know, she was kind of nutty, but I like Mrs. Joyner. Don't you think this is just somebody trying to pull a practical joke on us with all this year dead stuff? I don't think so. Busted, Annie. Is this where you practiced? Well, I never could fool you, Jack. with the Monday Night Football Club and check out some of today's hottest athletes in Disney Channel's original series, The Jersey, here on Disney Channel.